Hey guys, it's a question to more again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to continue the videos on AR Foundation, specifically with the mobile application that I'm creating for augmented reality. I want to show you some of the changes that I added during the weekend, such as ability to select all the lines that I'm drawing, also ability to apply motions to the lines and also some improvements that I made to the interface and also a debug manager that I added. So let's jump into Unity and start looking at it. All right guys, so let me show you what I work on this weekend by just showing you a demo of me running my app in the device. It's gonna hit play. And as you can see, I'm gonna start doing detection and I'm gonna start drawing. So drawing of the lines is working just fine. I'm also changing the brush size, so just to show you that that part is also working. I'm also, you know, walking and taking a couple steps so that I can show you how I can do line selection and also applying different colors to lines, so that's all working just fine. It was actually pretty fun to work on that and getting it working. So as you can see, that's the same color that I had selected previously, so that's all working. And then here, what I'm going to try is add an effect and then also see if I can do line selection, which is this mode right here. So the red is denoting that the lines are currently selected. So I still need to work on some of the some of the box, but I also have the, the box showing which line is selected, which is line render two, line render three. You can also apply motions, as you can see. I'm selecting which items, which lines I want to apply a motion to, and they start basically moving. So let me go ahead and jump into Unity and show you some of the things that I added. So if I hit playing here, I'm going to show you why I added motions and how we can practically use it. It's going to be mostly for fun, to be honest. And let me just make sure that I can select a line that I like, about a length that I like. Okay, and then we'll just do something, something like that. So let's say that we wanted to draw, you know, maybe a Christmas tree, and this is not going to be perfect, but I'll just attempt to draw a Christmas tree. And then let's say that we wanted to, you know, we also wanted to animate it. So normally what I would do is I go to the the actual mode, which is going to be the motion. I still have some issues in here that are throwing exceptions. I need to fix those. And then as soon as I do that and I go to a different mode, this is already being converted to a mesh, and which is the reason why I can do, I can also do selection and I can do other cool things. So now if I wanted to, let's say I wanted to do X, let's do Y. And then if I wanted to select it, of course I should normally be able to select it, but for some reason I have a few issues. Let me go ahead and try that again. I'm not gonna apply it any colors. I think I have an issue in there that I need to fix. And let me just go ahead and draw, let's just draw a Christmas tree and we'll do something like this. And I'm doing my, using my touchpad, so that's why it's not perfect. Okay, let's say that we wanted to do that. And then we go into motions. And I know that the motion that I selected last was the, this is actually X and it's, uh, it's not resembling what the the rotation is in reality. So I need to fix that as well. There's a lot of things that I need to fix, guys. But this is basically what you would do. You would draw something in augmented reality and then you can apply a motion. You can change the color if you like to. We could do something like this. Let's say that we wanted to apply, maybe we wanted to do, let's go ahead and change this. And as you can see, I have other issues in there that I need to fix. But if I wanted to do, let's go ahead and go back into drawing mode. I'm just going to add a couple spots in here. And let's say that I wanted to also do maybe the ground was going to be maybe, maybe about that color. We can do a little smaller line. And then what I can do is I can do something here. I can do something here. Maybe a couple of zigzag here. And I'm just making things up and I wanted to go back into motion selection and I wanted to apply it to that, apply it to this one, apply it to this one, apply it to this one. So everything is animating. It's really hard to see because I have so many issues still to fix, but things are working well, they're working better. And some of the things that I, that I also added, as you can see, I can, I can now apply motions to, to different lines that I draw. The other thing that was a little challenging was to make sure that I could do the ray cast. So if we go in here, I'm going to show you some of the components that I have for for the ray casting. So if I go into the line pull manager and also the motion man manager, let me show you the 
So on the motion manager is where I'm doing the raycast. So if I wanted to change this color when I do, so if we go ahead and change, let's say that we wanted to do maybe a green color when I do the item selection, then I can do that. Then I can also tell the system what type of layers to include. In, in every line that I draw, it's gonna be, the layer is gonna be line. But if I wanted to do something like stickers and, and different things that I wanna do in AR, then I can add them to, to this list so that I can raycast on those items. So if I change that to green, and this is also the motion speed, let's say that we wanted to animate something and, and then be much faster, I can specify that on X, Y, and Z. So let's go ahead and go back and hit play, and I can show you how this is working. And let's say that we wanted to do, you know, maybe a line like that, and then let's just pick a different color, something that looks cooler. And then I think it's actually gonna get overwritten here in just a second. Oh, I didn't, that's great. And then what I can do is now that I have emotion, I can select that. I haven't selected a motion yet, so let's go ahead and select the motion. Let's go ahead and do the Y motion, and then select it, you can see how fast this is, I don't believe this is going to apply in real time. The reason for that is because this is already being applied to the line. So if I go to my line here, you can see that I'm applying also an object called AR Object Motion. And this is the one that is using, you know, if I wanted to change the speed on Y, then I can change it in here. So this object was already added as, at the time that I make, that I apply the motion to the object. So this is the one that is keeping track of it. So if I wanted to make it much smaller, you know, on the actual motion I could if I wanted to change the type of motion that I wanted to apply so if I want to do you know maybe X then I could do that as well so a lot of cool things that I'm that I'm adding the other things that I also been working on is making sure that everything gets converted to a mesh so let me show you how this works so if you look at this line pool manager this line pool manager what it's doing is behind the scene is converting every line that I'm drawing into a mesh the reason why I needed to do that is because I needed to actually apply a raycast towards a collider. So if I go here and I hit play, I'm going to show you how cool this is. And it's cool because I, I really I really had fun uh, building this. So if I go ahead and let's say that I, I wanted to draw something like that. So as soon as I draw a line, you can see that I have a new line here and I have a new element. It's a line render and it hasn't been baked yet. So bake means that uh, it hasn't it hasn't actually you know created a, a mesh out of it. So as soon as I change the emoting here, it's already been baked, mean, meaning that it was also it was actually created it created a mesh out of it. And the other thing that I wanted to do as well is I wanted to you know apply a mesh collider to it. So the reason why I did a mesh is because I needed to you know also apply a raycast. So that's how this works. And if I do, let's say that I go back in here and we create another line, and we create another line, and we create another line, and we just keep creating lines. And as I'm creating lines, the line renders are you know, getting generated. And then if I look at my pool manager, it's also creating, you know, adding, adding the lines to the pool manager. But most of these lines, they haven't been baked just yet, so that means that I can't really apply any, any selection. I can't select them yet, but as soon as I change the mode, and I go into selection mode, now they're all baked. So now they all have colliders. So if I go here and here, I can select that, I can select that one. So I can select any of the lines that I drew. And the cool thing with this is now I can start looking into, you know, features such as merging lines and, and you know, now that I merge a line, now I can apply a motion to it. So there's a lot of use cases that I could do, you know, that I can apply in here, which is, which I'm really, really excited about it. So that's everything that I wanted to show you today, guys. I'm going to be improving the line drawn on the next video, I want to use a, a busier curve because it's really, you know, the lines are not as clean as I want it to be. And it's really, see like that, like right there, it has an edge. And, you know, as I start moving the, the lines and if you're using, if I'm using my phone, it's really clear that the lines are not as clean. So that's something that I'm gonna be adding on the next video. And the last thing that I wanna show you is the, the bug manager that I added. So right now, as you can see, I can select lines, right? If I wanna go back in here and I select the lines, those are getting drawn into the debug manager. So if I wanted to clear the lines after four lines, the actual debug mode after four lines, you're gonna see that it's, you know, it's jumping as soon as it hits the last line. So that's something that I added, enable debug. If I wanted to enable debug, if I don't wanna enable debug, 
all I can say is just disable it and then when I hit play the whole thing is going to get disabled I believe the debug manager is going to be disabled and also the debug area text is going to be disabled so that nothing gets you know if nothing gets logged to the to the actual UI so that's everything that I wanted to show you today. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. All right, guys, thank you much for watching this video today. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about anything that I show you on my mobile app, please let me know. Also, be sure to check out GameDev.net because they have great resources for game developers. And also find me in Patreon.com where I'm basically posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access source code. Thank you very much, guys.